It's an adrenaline-packed moment. And they come right at me, and it kind of startles me. For Cody resident Ryan Ani. I was like, oh, that was neat. That was kind of bad video skills, but that was, that was neat to see cool. And they went back in the trees, and uh, I went on with my day, and they went on with their day. Ani owns Wyoming Wings and Water and guides in and around Cody and Yellowstone National Park, even endorsed by Orvis. It, it, something peaceful and majestic about it, but at the same time, like the, the sounds and everything were, were so adrenaline filling. It was startling at the same time. He posted the video on his social media accounts, but didn't think it would go as viral as it did. Then it blew up into like, Everyone wanted to give me their expertise on what was going on and everyone wanted to share it and tell me all this and all that. And then suddenly now I'm at like over 3 million views on Facebook. However, Ani is no stranger to interactions with grizzly bears after his own encounter with a grizzly sow up close and very personal in 2019. He was pheasant hunting with his dad on the Clark's Fork River. Within feet, feet away, I fired two shots with birdshot and it jumped, it lunges at me, the bear lunges at me, and I felt a final shot at my feet in its, in its head and um, got the heck out of there. Wildlife investigators deemed the shooting self-defense, but Ani says it was sad. And it took a couple days to kind of get off that adrenaline high and be able to sleep and just live normal life. And and what I felt after that was almost like a depression. So now he's trying to keep things positive in life and on social media while working a dream job, capturing those life-changing moments. After that video, I post a video of a 11-year-old boy catching a fish on a fly rod. I think that's really cool. I mean, it's to me, it's just a typical day in the office, but it's still neat to see. In Billings, Andrea Lutz, MTN News.